from compound clips detaching capabilities, Bezier animation, dragging down transitions without the worry of sound designing. Hey fellas, let's take a look at the most useful features after Filmora 14 was released. Now you can select some of the clips in the timeline and then use this option right here to create a compound clip. But in the previous versions, there was no way for you to undo this process. So fortunately now, in this newest update of Filmora, you can just right select again and then use this option right here, which is detach a compound clip and then use one of these two options accordingly. Moving on to the very following feature right here. You can take down a transition and then don't think about sound designing after that, all right? Right here, when you go to the transition table over here on the left side, where the folders are, you are going to see this option right here that says sound effects transitions. What is this? This simply means that all transitions that are in this folder or this category have sound effects already attached to them. So when you apply a transition, let's take down this glitch transition down between these two clips here, all right? And then when you play it, it's not just a transition, but it's a transition with sound effects. So I believe Filmora is going to add more transitions in this category. Now, we have the same situation on the stickers tab. As you can see, all of these stickers that you are seeing right here, they have sound effects that go with them. For example, let's take down this one just to test it. All right. Oh, that's a pretty good, very matching sound effect. Let's move on to the following feature here. Another mind-blowing feature right there. This is the Bezier animation. Not to be mistaken with the Bezier curve, all right? So just have it separated right there. The Bezier curve is used when you are in keyframing panel graph. But now this is the Bezier animation actually called the Bezier path. And it only applies to titles. Once you take down a quick text right here, you can customize them the way you want, all right? And after that, double select your titles in the timeline and then on the right side of your preview screen, and that is if you are using this kind of a layout that I'm using right now, when you scroll down here, you are going to see this option right here, which is the Bezier path, okay? When you turn it on, like in this way here, you are going to see those little points. Just select one of these little points over here. Just regard them as keyframe points. All right, something like that. When you drag it, you can pull it whichever direction you want, and you are going to see that the title is going to be stretched to that direction. And then right in between, you are going to put other path points to follow exactly the way the path you want. Now, I'd like you to notice that when you select your point here, you are going to see that there are two ends that are going to show up. Basically, for you to make it a smooth curve to your liking. And then the other thing again here, the path offset, which determines which letter is going to start showing up. And then the below option right here, which is the duration is going to this, is going to affect the speed of the animation. If you want it to be quite fast, then you reduce the duration, but you want it to be quite slower, then you increase the duration right here, then it will be slow. And then finally, this is a loop option. If you want it to keep repeating the same loop, just use this option right here if you don't want that. Just make sure that this option is not turned on. Let's move on to another cool feature that was released after Filmora 14. This is the feature that allows you to cope up with the 2025 trends. This feature right here turns your still images into moving videos. Image to video feature made simple with some considerable accuracy, right? Now just a second here, you can also create different kind of images, like images of celebrities, just by using the other feature also in Filmora, which is called the AI Image Generator, and that allows you to create anything you can ever think of, and of course, with considerable accuracy. And right here, without wasting much of your time, let's try this and see how accurate it can be.
Once you select it, you are going to see a small box just below that you can use to import the image that you really want to see a magic on. Without considering a lot of option here, I will go Submit. And right here straight, we do generate and wait for the magic. There you go. Now here is the very last one on this list. So this is the audio to video feature which a lot of people have not yet tried and I just want to take this opportunity and try it with you all so that we can see if it is really good for you. Right on the starting menu of Phil Mora you are going to see it right here, being the very first option that you see here. But after some time the, these tools may be shuffled so you may not find it right here. So just go right here on the toolbox. Okay, and then here, you're going to see it, the audio to video, and once you select it, like in this way, you need to import your audio here. As you see this instruction here that the audio must be at least 10 seconds and then maximum 120 minutes. And to make things more simple, you can use this option right here to paste just a YouTube link where there's an audio that you want to turn into a video generated by AI but I will import mine from my PC. Just make sure that your internet connection is active when you go on to these procedures. So right here, the very first thing is you have to make sure that you choose, you select the option that your language, the language that your audio is in, all right? Here I select English, and then the type of the video that you are creating, right? And then the ratio, the size, the duration, I would like to leave it on auto just for this time around, right? And on the right side, you can put it again on the auto or just choose one of these options here. And if you turn on this option right here, it will allow you to import your own images that will be featured in the video that you are going to generate, or else you can just turn it off so that you can choose one of the templates that you are seeing right here. So in that case, it can be colorful memories or any of these. So if you really want to edit, just go ahead and then use this option right here. One day, a boy saw an old man struggling with his groceries and quickly ran to help him. The old man smiled and said, Thank you, young man. Kindness matters. The next day, the boy tripped and fell, but a stranger immediately helped him up, saying, Good deeds always come back to you. The boy realized that kindness creates a ripple effect, making the world a better place. Moral, a small act of kindness can make a big difference. So you can actually adjust a lot of things right here. Even add background music, you can actually refine your edit right here. One day, a boy saw an old man struggling with his groceries and quickly ran to help him. The old man smiled and said, thank you, young man kindness matters. The next day, the boy tripped and fell, but a stranger immediately helped him up, saying, good deeds always come back to you. The boy realized that kindness creates a ripple effect, making the world a better place. Moral, a small act of kindness can make a big difference. Well, my dear friends, these are the main features we have after Filmora 14 was released. But there are some minor features that you can also check out and see and try them out on your own. Thank you so much for watching this video to this very point. If you found it very helpful, hit the subscribe button and like the video, share the content. And until I meet you in the next episode, peace. From AI portrait to scene detection, Filmora's got the perfect direction. Text to speech and motion graphics too Every update I see something new